the stinkiest, grossest little Discord I could find created a Rust server to see if they could live in harmony. Shops were opened, taxi services created, a lawman patrolled the town, guilds were made, alliances formed, disputes were settled in court, but human nature always crept in. And by human nature, I mean evil. And what keeps evil at bay in the real world? Well, what's, uh, what's keeping Tesla from nuking all the Ford factories in the US? The press, these shop owners, the sheriff, the citizens of this town need to have the fear of accountability in order to stay on the straight and narrow. And that is where I step in. Using the latest in Rust technology, I created Grindset News, the source of news on Rust. Eyewitness testimonials recorded via cassettes. They took pictures of me. <laughs> cameras to capture people in the moment. And phones to help information move quickly across the town. Yeah, hi. Is this the uh, news station we're talking to? Oh, I gotta take this. Hold on. Uh, new, news agency, what's up? I, what, what can I do for you, pimp? Oh, I thought this was the, oh, I thought this was the, uh, sheriff. Well, I just witnessed a murder, um, at the guild. At the guild, huh? Yeah, I had, guy, I had another just, news story about yeah, you just, guild fellas that I was supposed to uh, catch up on. Oh, what's up with that? Oh. Uh, just a small time news story about cannibalism or something. Uh, the guild. Great idea, honestly. It's a place you show up, uh, they spin a wheel and give you a random quest. They pay you for completing your quest with a bunch of scrap. And so it was a good way for the guild itself to get revenue, for people to have a sense of purpose. Because you know, idle hands are the devil's playthings. Hey, hey, Sheriff! Sheriff, we need you back here! Weapons license, and then I'll be back over, okay? What? I said I'm giving this guy a weapons license. Thank you. You're giving him a white man license? Oh, I, excuse me? I could also use one of those. No, you can't give him one. No, no, a, a weapons I, license, I mean, sir. Oh, weapons license. Sheriff, there was a mm -hmm. murder that happened down at the guild oh, oh, at, uh, located P14 on the grid. And if you wanted to, you could imminent domain apprehend the weather balloon. And I could go over there. You could go over there. Two birds, one stone. I get a news report. You got a crime. I like the sound of this. And you know what? For this incident, your waffles, I'm gonna be giving you a weapons license, you're gonna be temporarily deputized. How many people can you fit in that thing? How tall are they? I'm like 6'4", I think the guy I'm bringing with me, the sheriff's like 5'2", or something. Oh, yeah, no problem. Are, are you gonna ask that guy, the blue guy over there, are you gonna ask him if he wants to come? Yeah, sure, 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 sure. I need to report a crime! Mr. Sheriff and the two deputies, how are you guys doing? Waffles, I see you have a gun now, now that you have a weapon license. Yeah, you know, I, I just got this, so... I'm pretty excited by this point, guys. This is uh, the very first murder investigation I'm, I'm going to be doing as a reporter. I got the sheriff here with me. I think this is going to go swimmingly. Fuck! Well, that, that wasn't my fault. That was gravity's fault. And you can't arrest gravity. You can't sue it either. I've tried. It's very fitting that the sheriff has this sheriff beautiful stallion news reporter dork has a little dorky bicycle Don't wait why Which can't i go uphill am i too fat i think it's too fat i think your bike Fuck. Too this is what the doctor was warning me about hey i found a horse <laughs> hey you can join in now I'm a, yeah, yeah, yeah this horse can go up this goddamn hill <laughs> <laughs> the horse can fucking fly <laughs> i'm here from the news agency there's like a murder that happened here or something? Yeah, yeah, uh, over yeah, here, Sam, in the other side of the room. This is where the murder happened? Yeah, there's his bag right there. Uh, we believe it was Yeti. Did you, like, what, did he say anything before he did it, or did he just, just wanton violence? No, we were doing a trade and just, just bloodshed in the side room. What happened to his body? Well, I mean, bodies disappear into the bag, so... There's so you the murder body. no body. There's no body anymore. No body. I mean, you got no body. You have no what? no crime. Who was the victim? What was the victim's name? I honestly don't even. I don't even know. So you don't. You don't, don't even know, know who the victim, the victim is, and the victim he doesn't even exist, and his body's not even here. 
Guys, if we can collectively just forget it happened, I mean, there's no crime, technically. Uh, about this time, I was approached by this guy saying he, he has information on the victim. Kind of like the weirdest guy I've ever fucking met, to be honest. I am but a humble servant to the guild. I have acquired the first feet pick of the lands. Well, I know the victim. I just need to go to my house. Next, outside the village, I found a skull. Might be of interest to you and your investigators. This is huge. Yeah, yeah, this is my house okay. right here. Can I Don't come in here and write uh, a note really quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, can you just let, let me in real quick? There you go. All right. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Guild says man murdered, body gone. So I don't even know if it's real, but this Nick guy found a skull in the field at Nick's house now. You know what? This guy seems chill. That's all you got? Bone fragments? Um, yeah, so long story short, I think I crushed his scroll, skull into smithereens. I did have it, though. Um, hey, are you with the cops by chance? Are you, like, uh, are you no, just a I'm journalist? Not. I'm outside the, What's the, deal here? the scope of the police. Oh, of oh great. Yeah, I killed him. Oh, you're the murderer. I cut him down where he stood. Okay, you're gonna do a little revision here. He's actually not chill. Uh, he's the killer. Did he, like, have any last words before okay. he stabbed him? Yeah, no, he didn't even have a chance to speak. The gu I rolled the wheel on the guild. They said, uh, yeah, bring us some human meat and we'll give you 200 sca scrap. There's 200 scrap in that TC, by the way. But, uh, yeah, so I walked up to the nearest guy and chopped him down in about, uh, I think it was two hits, and he just died. And I, uh, chopped him up. Do you remember his name? There's someone outside. No, unfortunately, I, there's someone outside. No, I do not. I do not know his name. He, he just died of a heart attack from what I saw. I wasn't even there, actually. I didn't even see there it. There isn't anyone outside. Must have been the wind. This, this guy scares the hell out of me. And I'm going to say whatever it takes to get out of this house. So what? Yeah, you, you just wanted to get true. some scrap. So you went to the guild. They gave you a job. The job I happens to break scrap. the law. That's all that, I wanted. I was just doing my job. You're a venture capitalist. You're not a murderer. Destroyed. It's on them. I did chop him up into little bite-sized, little scrumptious pieces that I then sold back to the guild. Granted, the the guild. Come on, they're they're reputable people. They pay my wages. I wouldn't like to see them go out of business now. However, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna we say can't that. I'm just... just let people die on their property. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go turn in some, uh, a quest here to the guild. Be right back. Thank you, by the way, for I being so forthcoming with this information. Oh, oh my god, there's a bear. That was a huge breakthrough, guys. And on top of that, he gave me some human meat so that I can go back to the guild and replicate his results, thereby proving that these people are trading human meat for scrap. Hey guys, I'd like to turn in a quest. What is your quest? What is your quest? Disgusting That's disgusting. The There's why are you trying to give us human meat? It's uh, I got a quest. What is this shit? I got a quest. I expect this my This isn't a quest. This is disgusting. Here. This it's, is a five. You just tried to give us human. I just I took it for evidence. This is disgusting. This is vile. We would never. No, that I heard that there was a quest for human meat. Wait, why do people keep getting this idea? You don't want this stuff, man. This is gross. It's a crime. I gave, I put in my human meat. I want my scrap. I have heard from 12 people that you guys give out scrap for human meat. That's what I've heard. Okay, okay. And that's then now, crazy because now no one all knows. of a sudden, all of a sudden the deputies are around here and you're like, human meat, what the fuck is that? That's gross. Eventually they broke down and gave me some scrap just to make me go away. Awesome. I'm going to use this scrap as further proof that you guys are running some sort of Cannibal ring? Question mark. This is gonna look great in the headlines. I don't know what you're Saps. talking about. Saps. Uh, I get the feeling I did not make a great impression at the guild, because a, uh, a couple hours later I ran into these guys. You said Core wants to put a bounty on my head. Correct. Yeah, and we had to pretend that we accepted it so that we could leave without him murdering us. We also know where his base is because he told us in order to meet him there. He is mad. He is mad and sad, and I yep. am glad. Dap it up. Dip, 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 dip. Yeah, that's as close <laughs> as dapping it up gets. Hell yeah. Steve hey, passed me a note, and I and I felt so goddamn threatened. I put it in the box. 
Put that in the Steve's a dickhead file. Craving the reddest meat around? Want to donate your body to others to feast on? Looking for work and supplying specialty goods? Come to the peaks of Q7. Signed, The Guild. Oh, I got a phone call. Talk to me. We need to talk. Come to the outpost. This guy has been calling me and asking me to go to the outpost for over an hour. So I was like, okay, you know what? Just to get this guy to stop blowing up my phone, I'm going to go to the outpost. I'm going to talk to this guy. Hello? Wait, wait, this isn't the sheriff. No, I'm not the sheriff. Uh, I'm the fucking news shit. guy. Wait, it says sheriff in the directory. Wait, have I been calling the wrong person the whole time? Yes, you've been calling. I'm the news guy. I'm not the... Oh, it's because I stole oh, the sheriff's shit. phone. My, my bad, pimp. Remember the guy that was, like, killed at the very beginning of this at the guild, which spurred this entire investigation? This is him. This is the guy that got murdered. Your death at the guild has sparked some sort of investigation into the ethics of the guild itself. And what were you doing when you were attacked? Uh, I was talking to the guild members, and I was trying to buy stuff from them. Like, get scrap, you know? And then a man held a knife up to my throat. He had weird intent, like sexual intent, I think. He likes, he felt my butt. He felt your butt? Okay, I'm writing that down, hold on. My butt All right, I found Yeti. It says he held a knife to his throat. He squeezed him like he would a stress ball. And squeezed his buttocks. Okay, this is big news. Thank you. You're the final missing piece to the puzzle. No, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be here. I'll be here. Can I have some food? Here's a worm. Eat that worm. Thank you. Oh, dude, come on. So I'm back at HQ. I have this entire Rico case laid open. I have Nick, the man that did the killing. The guild, the man that hired him to do it. I got the victim testimonial. I have testimonial from people saying that Steve is looking for vengeance to silence the media. And then I get a another first-hand testimony from this guy. There was a guy named Nick. He gave the guild human meat. And in the back, they started eating the meat. They, they got very okay. iffy when I brought up human meat. Like, nervous. This is huge. This is a major breakthrough. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for this. I think it's about time I got enough evidence now to make a move. What I start this video off with? Accountability. A company like this cannot just run amok. So I got a ride from uh, one of the taxi services in town. It's at the guild. You can see it on the map. There's like a little shopping cart P14. down there. P14. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, are you going to go interview him on what? On the uh, accusations? Dude, I'm about to blow the lid off this thing. This, this is serious. This is serious. This will get you the big bucks, you know? Pick, this is huge. Picked up by some companies. About to get out of the solo career, if you know what I mean. That's the dream right there. As long as you don't go to some foreign country during a, during a crisis. That, no, that's no, all no. I'm saying. So maybe not Vox. Vox might not be the, Vox no, might Vo not be the pick. That's actual journalism. No, no, I don't want that. I want to work for Ben Shapiro. I want to get <laughs> close enough. Big enough in his company that I get invited to maybe a family dinner. Maybe meet Abigail Shapiro, his sister. Eh? Ooh. Don't don't even get me started. I have two <laughs> count them two eyewitnesses. I have the man interview of the man that was murdered himself. He said that the killer came up behind him, put a, a knife to his neck, grabbed his buttocks, molested his buttocks before killing him. Then Excuse took his meat. Me? I've talked to the guy that okay. took the meat and sold it for scrap. He showed me the scrap that he had gotten. Then I went over there with human meat. I gave it to the dude. They gave me scrap. <laughs> Need I say more? He's guilty. I'm gonna go there right now. Do you feel it, Steve? Yeah, boy. Do you feel it? Why are you trying to? Why are you trying to run us down? Do you feel the very foundations of your guild quaking beneath your feet? Wait, wait. Can I get a picture? Can I get a picture of the sheriff confronting the evil guild members? Oh, that one's going. In hey, the sheriff, newspaper. Oh, well, my job here is uh, done. I've collected all the evidence. Justice has swooped in to arrest the perpetrator. And now I just need to get back to my house. I need cloth. What, dude? What do you mean? Dude, I was about to. Dude, 
Stop, I re dude. I require... Give that back. I was about to take that. You I walk require... in here, you freak yeah. me out, and you're like, I, I need cloth. Wait. 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 Come back. What? Now you come inside my fucking hot air? Like, what do you want? Leave me alone. Go back to the masses, dude. I'm just trying to live out here. Dude, am I being, like, touched? Stop, dude. Stop. Stop, dude. paint you like one of my dude, French what girls. are you doing? No, no dude. Stop. Emote for me. No. <laughs> Emote like, for me. What is your deal? Leave me alone. Emote for me. Emote for me. Oh, nah, bro. No, bro, we don't need to do that, though. Hello, pimp. How are you? Oh, shit. What's up? Look at this timing. By the time I had landed in my hot air balloon and gotten back to my base, driving by me is one of the deputies with Flux and Steve, owners of the guild, under arrest, being sent to prison. It's all lining up. So I was in my hot air balloon and flying, or previous to this. I think we pissed them off. They logged off in their, in their little prison cell. And I was going for a crate, and then a man, a man busted past me and was like, I'm looking for cloth. You know, rude already. I'm just saying. He was... Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, so he's in the system. That man behind you just killed me in cold blood in my hot air balloon. He told me to strip down for fucking pictures, and then he killed me with a fucking machete. Wait, what's Wait. I want dude, you to see stay something. Away from me, dude. Yo, I sheriff, want you to I need, see I need something. Your help, like, literally, you no, like that? Dude. No, 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 no. You no, like that? No, no, no dude. Lawn, you saw what this is. Look I'm this. not this above the. the what? It's just a photo of my friend. I can't have a photo of my friend. You fell out of the hot air balloon. Dude, you and sliced my abdomen in half, bro. I was bleeding out, and I had to jump out of the hot air balloon. Dude, bro. the trade winds were legs. were throwing me to, and dare I say it, fro. I lost my balance. I happen to be holding my trusty machete, and it sliced him. It it did slice him Is pretty he bad. To take it out like that. <laughs> Zerl, there's your low grade right there on the floor. Grab it. Your hot air balloon's over here. I didn't take anything from you, dude. I was just waiting to see you again. Me and him go way back. Can you escort me to my hot air balloon, bro? I'm not. I don't feel safe around this. Your hot air balloon's right outside my house. I'll walk you there because I'm going to my house. This guy's a freak, bro. He's taking It's right next to my house. I'm just. I'm gonna walk you over there. Come on, on dude. Is that it right there? Is that my hot air balloon? No, it's over here. Oh. You know, I do have a little parting gift before you go. Come on, let's go get it out of my house. You want me to go inside your house? Yeah, dude, we're friends. Come on in. You gotta promise me, man. One thing, bro. What? You can do anything, but no, no pictures. P please. I can't handle that hit to my self esteem. Just come on in, dude. Oh, the shackles have been drawn, and oh, I am but a sheep. Oh, man. Oh, that's a wonderful little throne you got there, bro. I just want to say. I just want you to pose for me. What? I, I, don't, I don't know why I came in here. I have the can, fuel. I have everything. I could have just you left. Have, you I have the just fuel, left, bro. but you can't get out until you pose for me. I want you to emote. I felt uh, like I was robbed of oh. an emote last time. Right, so me help me out, bro. Go get the cops. Go get the cops. Just get, get the me. cops, bro. Get the cops, please. Just like, give me an don't, emote. Don't just stand there, bro. Get them. Just emote for me. Run! Run! Oh. Okay, please, I'll do it. I'll do it.
Mm. Oh! Ah! Hey. Okay, so Fungal found the body. Hold me. Hold my voice, criminal. Back He's now. arresting a journalist? I thought this was America! I thought this was this fucking is America! This is an arrest. Uh, I'm being arrested now for, for murder. And I get placed in a cell right next to the guild owners. And I demand you set me out on bail. I will pay you fine. Set me out on parole. I don't deserve to be in here like this. I gave him human meat. He gave the guild human meat. And in the back, they started eating the meat. At the guild. Yeah, that? Yeah. I know who that is. That's they Yeti. Very iffy when I brought up human meat. What am I? But yeah, just a that's journalist the of a free press. Okay. There's nothing illegal going on here. What am I <laughs> reporting a crime? What are you, yeah, I report a crime. I'm a you're fucking a journalist. journalist you are. You're a Where did you get the? Oh, human we meat are? You shitty journalist. Oh, you shut up. I'm talking. Say it in my face, motherfucker. Say it in my fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, where did you get- where did you get the- I know these fucking oh codes! God, Say it in my face, bro. bitch! What I'm fighting now, what I'm fighting now. Ah! Oh, 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 that didn't go how we yeah, thought it would. Well, now you just murdered. Well, now you just murdered someone. Last night I was walking around a gang of bikers in bone armor. Hitting at me. They killed a man. My bestie. And then they dragged me to an iron cage. Took my clothes off and made me, uh... They took the pictures of me. <laughs> Not the bestie. Do you have any? Do you have any of the pics as evidence? I don't, but I do know where the cage is that they kept me in. Just for evidence and for the story, could you recreate maybe one of the pictures that they took? It's kind of like this. Like I was cowering in the corner. <laughs> you That's nice. Go see this. Go see this cage. Uh, anybody want to ride side saddle? In the newsmobile, hop in. Out of my way! Here's a news story. Bitch doesn't know how to drive a horse. You still in here, right? Yeah. Oh man. What's more thrilling, getting molested by these biker gangs or hauling ass on the road, huh? Hmm? What? We passed her like like five miles back. Oh, sorry. I just like the wind whipping through my hair. <laughs> All that. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, I killed my scoop. The only thing that's gonna make me feel better is uh, listening to my favorite podcast, Forehead Fables Podcast. Right, what's gayer, do you think, doing the Arabian goggles or watching porn, heterosexual porn, with your friend a lot? <laughs> like, like one, more than once. Like porn. going, like yeah, that think, was awesome. Let's yeah, do that I again. I had a great time, and I'd love, <laughs> I'd love, to, I'd to, love share to make that experience do this again this, this Friday. Time. Yeah, I'll bring the lotion. I feel like it's uh, po that's possibly more gay than just getting Arabian goggles done to you. That's more gay than sucking the suits. Totally honest. This is a uh, Busty's taxi and mechanic services over. I have a motorcycle, and I was wondering if you could put a, a lock on it so that people will stop stealing it. I'm the news guy, by the way. I run Grindset News over here. Absolutely, uh, Mr. News Guy from Grindset News. We can take a look at that bike and see if we can put a lock on it. Okay, yeah, I'll be there in, in five minutes. Hey, admin abuse. Admin abuse. You probably want to leave, dude. You're going to get shot. Busty taxis? Why? Because there's someone here right now. <laughs> you said you're gonna fix my shit. There would be a. Fix it once a. Once the hole in our roof is fixed. Hey, guy, guy on the roof. I'm a, uh, I'm a reporter. So I'm kind of a conscientious objector. You want to hop in the side seat? Oh sure, yeah. Okay. First of all, uh. Well, actually, I kind of wanted to get my, my bike repaired here. Are you killing these guys right now? Oh, uh, no. I would never do, like, anything like that. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Lies! It's all lies! Who's the guy floating up there? This, yeah, I yeah. think it's just an admin abuser. I don't know. Let's shoot him. I killed God. Did you see that shit? I killed God. Yeah. 
What? No. This guy has a bounty do? on his head, son. Before you act on this, before you act what? on this, let me okay, get a picture okay, from the yeah, newspaper. Let me get a picture Everyone from the newspaper. Get in the photo. Get in the photo. Yeah, okay. let's get a picture. Oh, yeah, let's get a picture. Photo. Well, put the gun to his head first, Sheriff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's put the gun to head. You know what? Put your hands up too while we're at it, just so it looks cooler. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty now sure that's a news story. Yeah, dude, I, I, got a, I got a skull. Do you want to take a photo of his skull? Actually, here, take a photo of his next to his body, like me and Kara crouch next to his body, like in the dark. Like Why? Uh, do you want, uh, can you put a bag down? Oh, we me? haven't done. He's no, he's fuck out, out of here. Down. Get out of here. What do you mean, get out of here? You won't put a bag down for me? I've been killed outside your establishment you're trying not to get even some a goddamn paying customer. I am. I have brought yeah, a bike to you. Trouble you to our establishment. You're trouble lowering, to your establishment. The value I brought of this property. you some business. You don't even have a safe premises. You live in the fucking ghetto. I got gunned down twice outside your fucking house. All right. You should show me some goddamn respect and give me a bag at least. Right, let me take a picture of a dumbass yeah, business right, owner. Worst business bag. on the block. Come here. He's going to the newspaper. No, let me out, let me out, I can't die again, I've died so many times! Yeah, say sorry, <laughs> say you're fucking sorry. I'm bleeding out! Alright, I don't think I'm getting a lock on this, I'm just gonna keep going. You would think, you would think, by the way, being the, uh, sole source of news for these establishments, that I would get a little bit more respect, but I just feel like it's, it's lacking in some places, you know, a taxi service? What the fuck was that? Could be mad at me because they're getting attacked. Yeah, they, they need to be shut down. Yeah, they. Well, all I'm saying is I know for a fact there's a competing taxi service, and my news, my newspaper, Grindset News, is going to be heavily endorsing the opposing taxi service. Where the hell is that? Oh, y'all, what's up, Lisa? How you doing? Hey, what's going on? Mars, this is the end of the line, but I'll give you some money that you can go gambling with in the outpost. The outpost is right behind you. How about I fight you for the seat? Sure you wanna do this, buddy? I got a bone knife. Ah, hey, come on, you didn't get- Alright, your seat's right here. Would you be interested in a reporter's inside view into a house that was recently seized by the fucking sheriff's department? Uh, yes, I think this will work nicely going towards my tyrannical Sheriff Fungletoe story I've been brewing up. A seizure of- of yeah, what, citizens' property? Yeah, I would love to see the inner that. workings of law enforcement. I'll, I'll be right back. Uh, I guess I should get in my All news right. motorcycle. I call it the grind mobile. Yeah. Sheriff Fungletoe has seized a criminal's dwelling and we're gonna go see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, hey, how much horsepower you got in that thing? One? <laughs> Hello, citizen. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. The report of the house that I see. I have a feeling he might have unseized it, and I'm gonna go back and reseize it. So he's gonna get a live viewing. Oh, uh, don't worry. Your extremely negative Yelp review is almost finished. It'll be up in the next issue. Ah! I didn't feel a thing. Oh my god, Lisa, you broke it! That was incredible! What? You broke it, Lisa. Hey guys, look here. This is what the inside of a criminal house looks like. As you can see, look at this. Look what we just seized in this top box here. Top right box. Carrie, do you want to pull that gun that's out of there and hold it out for the uh, sound to take a photo? Oh my gosh. You, Contraband. Can I, can I borrow your, can I borrow your camera? It's kind of like my main tool, but okay. I gotta look at that. You got a thing stuck in there. Oh, that's from Muscle. Perfect. I'll need that for my negative Yelp review. Uh, no, oh, Mr. Oh, Bust from not. Bus Taxi. Uh, a horrible business owner shot me in the back with a nail gun. Oh, wow. I wear That's that bad. nail in my ass That's with pride. Horrible. And I would say, as the law enforcement, maybe, you know, he might owe me something. Like a free bike lock. Would you enforce this? Yeah. 
That's what we call okay, it. so I have something to talk to you about, Mr. Bust from Busty Taxis. Yeah. Okay, first, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Your uh, customer service was leaving something to be desired. And then oh when uh, I last this came again? over here, as this I was again? as I was hey, driving away, car. as I was driving away, yeah, I felt I felt a tinge in my back, and I said, "Huh, must have been a bug." And then when we reached our destination, lo and behold, Lisa noticed that there was a nail sticking out of my back, shot by one and only <laughs> owner. A busty taxis muscle what bust himself, shot, right? And the what sheriff the has agreed that possibly I'm entitled to a little bit of free bike work. I would like you to rectify this issue by putting a code lock on my goddamn bike. Yeah, we uh, checked the specs for the bike gear. Not uh, we're not able to put code locks on them. I'm sorry. You're free to use one of my garages for storage. Okay. Ooh. This will be your dedicated carport, Mr. Butchug, free of charge to Whoa. mend this strained relationship. Whoa, very nice. What's the code to that? Say it out loud so everybody knows. There you go. Go ahead and uh, put in your own code. You know what? This solves this uh, issue, Muscle Bust. I take it back. This is an excellent establishment, and you'll be getting my full endorsement in the paper. Thank you. Thank you very much. And if, if you ever need our taxi services, just give us a call. Or a we'll big fucking nail in my ass, or maybe even a snarky local... little message left to me on my phone. Whatever I need, I'll call you up. Little bitch. Little fucking dumbass bitch.